Okay, so first one is for Jared. How do you feel about Sam? Skip that one, skip that one. <laughs> I'm coming to you, Beecher. I'm coming. So, uh, how do you feel about Sam being romantically cursed because every woman he sleeps with dies? <laughs> Guys from ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said guys from disappointment. But <laughs> you have such, I mean, that was I don't a, know what, a low toss just right yeah. out of the park and you just threw it in right into the net. Uh, I think, I think it kind of sucks, but it kind of goes to, unfortunately, every, I've had to die, so they get to die too. Is my yeah. my statement. Yeah, yeah, that's everybody. <laughs> Quote of the day. Just everybody. Just everybody. Okay, thank you. Um, ha if you could cross over Supernatural with any other show, what would it be? If you could do a crossover with Supernatural with another show. Um, like Jersey Shore, you mean? <laughs> I am from New York, so. Eh. <laughs> Yeah, we, yeah, that's the same. That'd be fun. Supernatural, um, Jersey Shore up has always been. I think those guys think, think they're tough. And they think they're tan because they see me. And I've asked everyone so far. You ask a lot of questions, don't you? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's my curse. There's nothing I can do about it. I think Richard's act, um, answers is the best. What's your favorite movie quote? What's your favorite movie quote? What about Richard? What? He's answered it the best. Oh, his is the best. Well, we'll see, I like see the, about that. You know, I always go with leave the gun to canola. Yeah. <laughs> She felt funny as a good one. <laughs> um, my favorite quote is, uh, well, it's not actually words. <laughs> and it's, it's from a film, uh, Debbie Does Dallas, which... Um, but I'm... Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... <laughs> Don't do it. We're done. What was, what was Richard's answer? What was Richard's answer? Actually, he asked mine, but I won't say it. No! no. 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 Yeah. There are children in the audience. Yeah, How inappropriate of you. There weren't any yesterday. Well, that, right there. Right there. He's saving the rest of us. From, thank you. <laughs> that, uh, they're right there. Thank you, Thanks, man. Thanks for sparing Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> uh, hi. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Um, this person is for Jared. Misha. Mm -hmm. For you. Yeah. I will get Misha later. <laughs> um, two questions. First, um, we must sound weird. Um, I know you have dogs, and I was wondering if you ever have thought about um, having puppies for them. Like, if I'd like to give birth to puppies? Yeah. <laughs> if I would have puppies for my dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> they come from the butt, right? <laughs> so, I'd love to have puppies for them. Um, no, actually, I, I, I actually... <laughs> I had my, I had my, um, tooth tied, so I... <laughs> Honestly though, can you do that like in vitro though? Like, <laughs> in all honesty, um, I I I um I think medically it's impossible for me to get close to Um, but no, I in truth now, honestly, um, I I don't. I, I my dogs are are rescued and they've been um, the way the shelters work. Yeah. The way the shelters work in, in Los Angeles are that if you want to rescue a dog, you pick it up from the vet's office after it's been spayed or neutered. You can't, so if you go rescue a dog, then you don't even pick it up there. You go to the vet's office um, after it's been spayed or neutered. I'm a big, uh, me and Bob Barker, we're big on, on spaying and neutering pups. And so there are a lot of great dogs out there uh, and cats and stuff. I, I probably rescue them. So.
Okay, my other question is, um, you have been a puppy, a moose. You want me to give you some puppy? <laughs> You have been a puppy, now you're a moose, and somewhere I saw that they call you lion now because of the mane. Uh, <laughs> so I was wondering which one you prefer. <laughs> I, I, I gotta go with puppy. Puppy? Yeah. I can chew the one of my cook. They're the most delicious. <laughs> the most delicious? <laughs> Thank you for this question. I'm sorry about this guy. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. Hi. Hi. Um, a woman of the other day referred to working on set with you guys as working with a bunch of kindergartners. <laughs> That's giving us way too much credit. <laughs> the problem is kindergartners... I didn't know we had gotten I'm that old. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that kindergartners' motives are, are mostly innocuous. Like, I think they're just ch children. We're specifically malicious. So, like ignorance is bliss, you kind of can't get mad at the five-year-old for like pooping himself. <laughs> or you can. I guess five enough to poop himself in there, right? Okay, you can get mad at them apparently, but you can't get mad at me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I think she gives it too much credit. And uh, Richard wanted to know if you're excited about being able to sit in the Yankees dugout tonight. Well, tell Richard he can ask me. I'm just kidding. No, we. <laughs> We played a trick on Richard. We wanted to we wanted to possibly go to see the game tonight if it's even gonna be on with the weather. But we were like, dude, you really should come with us. We got tickets in the dugout. I'm like, my, my agent knows Jeter. And he's like, what? what? We totally had him going last night. So much so that I felt really bad. I, I almost just kept the lie and would have seen him later been like, dude, it was amazing in the dugout. Because he was so earnest and so like vulnerable. I had to crush his dreams and say, actually, we don't have dugout tickets. We don't even have standing room tickets. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy it very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.